Hello and welcome back to Psychonauts 2. Today we're going to be sorting out Cassiopeia. That way she can help us with the astrolathe. Hey, you're not a child. No. Well, this shouldn't take too long. An enabler. Seriously? Okay, we're gonna have to deal with the enabler. No. No, no. Yeah, we can't damage the sensor till we take out the enabler attached to him. No. Yeah, because they're linked together, we gotta deal with the enabler and then we can do damage to the sensor. And that's gonna unlock... It looks like a book. I know we're trying to collect a few books to help out the librarian. Okay. Hey, have you seen any runaway books? Uh, sorry. Smarts ain't my thing. Guess we're just gonna have to platform our way up there. Wasn't sure if I could make that jump, to be honest. Bookworms. They ate my family. Bookworms, eh? Whoa, I didn't know that one opened. Hi, what's your name? Golden Dog, it's Ben Gerda, the Pretzelmeister's daughter. Ooh, where's the Pretzelmeister? Papa fell into the Pretzel machine. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. Not to worry, it was his secret wish. Really? I think so, that's why I pushed him. Yep. <sighs> Wait a second. I don't remember being in this book. Okay, I guess we have to platform our way along the book. Never know what kind of gameplay to expect with this game. Seems to be changing things up on us all the time. Whoa, well, where are we now? out there's a giant uh you out there hunting for you don't worry young man the librarian can't get in here that's why she sends in her operatives who me i'm not an operative i'm just playing along with her until i find the real cassie the real cassie tell me child what is your name rasputin and tell me who is the real Rasputin? The one you are with your friends? With your family? Or the one you say for your special someone? Hmm? Is that the real you? Or are you actually a combination of all those different identities? Important challenges in our lives can cause us to create entirely new identities for ourselves. I'm summoning powerful archetypes from our unconscious mind. The hero, the explorer, the shadow. My special talent allows me to summon up whatever archetype I need to survive my current situation. Would you like me to teach you how? Focus your mind's eye on a... Okay, we have a new power to go along with our existential crisis. So let's see if we can uh, gather up all her split personalities and put her back Vision together. The archetype you need most right now. Is it a Try again. Doesn't always happen right. Now. Oh, well, very good. 
you'll get better with practice. Archetype will act on its own sometimes, but you can also focus it on a specific task. Hey! Not now! I'm working! Ah, so that's how we get through these doors. I think if I use projection on this door, my archetype would go in there. Good boy. See where this little fellow takes you. I'll meet you at the end, and then I'll tell you my plan for the librarian. Hi there. Love dub. What was that? Love dub. Love that love dub. Uh, love. Hey, I know you. Aren't you from The Mind and Introduction? Yes, yes. Always nice to meet a fan. No time for autographs, though. Sorry. Wow. Conceited. Please excuse me. I have a lot of thinking to do. Why so glum, Dino Chum? Well, I'm from an old textbook, and it turns out I'm not considered a real dinosaur anymore. Please don't tell the librarian. She'll throw my whole book out. They're all interesting characters, that's for sure. Okay, do we gotta use our new power to get through here somehow? I got this! Back in the chip! Don't you just love books? Yeah. Hey, maybe you should try reading books instead of eating them. Read books? What is that? Some no fad diet? Oi. Sounds like a good way to starve to death. Excuse me. Yes? You look like you could teach me a lot about anatomy. You bet. How's this for starters? There's one of me inside of you. Gross. Hey, that's insensitive. Bye, muscle man. Bye, baggy old clothes boy. Don't you just love books? <laughs> There's a narrow <laughs> slot. I don't think I could do it. I think if I use projection on this door, my archetype would go in there. Oh, we're under attack. I can't do anything. Oh, he's got an enabler. Great, we need to deal with that. They just keep inventing new enemies for us. Okay, we're going to need our pyrokinesis to deal with this. Oh great, he has an enabler too. Alright, that opened hopefully the right path. We're gonna have to platform our way up here. I wonder how close we're coming to the end of this game. I went into this pretty blind, so I don't know how long this game actually is. Huh, looks like we got to use our 2D version of ourselves, the projection, to open this so we can get through. Wow, that's really fast timing-wise. Is 
that a penny over there? Sure, sure. You just take it easy, big guy. What's that? Got it! These things are murder on my back. <laughs> All right, our next book to platform through. I guess someone didn't like their work and decided to scratch it all out. together so well really inspired me and it gave me an idea we need to get all of Cassie's archetypes together round up all the runaway books and give them to the librarian but she'll lock you all up oh don't worry we won't be in them we'll be with you now go find the others hurry the teacher's edition. We all learned so much from this one, but we can't have her making up new identities and confusing things right when I'm getting everything sorted. Can we? No, we can't. Just one more book to go. You're right on the edge of becoming my favorite assistant. The battle with Maligula must have brought this librarian to power to make Cassie feel safe. I think I should help Cassie get her aspects back in balance. Well, this one looks easy. Uh-oh. I think I just jinxed it. I wonder how many of these we're gonna have to platform here, through. But be careful. This is the shop of Fanny Flats, the famous counterfeiter. Cassie works for a counterfeiter? I work for myself, but I do what I need to survive. After our parents dumped us here, we needed an archetype that was a little more thick-skinned. Cassie, we've come to bust you out. Did someone say bust? What was that? Huh? Shh! Never say bust in here too loudly. But it's true. We have a plan. Oh, hey, Teach. Listen, now's not a really good time. Flats has a big deal coming up, and she's really on edge. And I'm working on my ticket out of here. Can we help? Listen, don't tell anyone, but the cops are closing in on this place. The boss's days are numbered. I cut an immunity deal for myself. I just need to get them some evidence they can use against the big gal. But she's watching everybody like a hawk these days, and I can't get away. We'll do it. I'll get the evidence you need, and we'll b we'll briskly walk out of here together. Okay? Deal. But remember, never double cross a double crosser. Okay, guess we gotta climb up and gather the evidence, and then we'll be right back. That's all the evidence we could get. Think it's enough? Let me be the judge of that. Oh, yeah. This is some hot dirt right here. We'll be able to blackmail her with this for years. Blackmail? I thought you were going to arrest her. What? How's she gonna make the money she needs to pay us from jail? But if she's not locked up and she finds out I was the one who sent her up the river... Hey, don't worry. We'll, uh, protect you or something. Let's beat it. This was a bust! What? Bust? Oh, it's a bust! Ah! Ah! Ew. Not a chapter of which I am particularly proud. Hey, she was forced into the outlaw life. Not that part. I just meant... Nobody likes a snitch. There 
there you are, all safe and sound again. Thank you, young man. You were a little loud for my liking, but you got the job done. And now you'll help me with those bees? Oh, are you scared of bees? Well, I know of one place where you'll feel completely safe. Hey! Put me down! Of all the double-crossing... This was all part of the plan. It was? Yep. And I thought I was the tricky one. Oh my, we've come to a bad place. No, it's perfect. How is it perfect? Any place is perfect. When we're all together. Well, I haven't seen you in a while. We should never have let her split us up. When we're together, nothing is impossible. Well, that tears it. I hate to damage a book, of course. But that last line was too corny, even for a motivational speaker. We're not going to let you control us anymore. Oh, and which one of you thinks you should be in charge? None of you could stop Maligula. None of you could protect your friends. I am the real Cassiopeia. Why do I got a feeling this is going to be a boss fight? And I'll show you how we fight off a foreign invader. Yep, definitely a boss fight. Get Against ready for the shushing of your life. A librarian? Sorry, a dibrarian. Okay, we can shoot at her and we can throw things from the battlefield at her, it seems. But she's using enablers. Oh, we're back to throwing things at her. Doing damage anyway. Where did she go? I can't throw things at her. She's missing. Guess we gotta use our new power. Projection time. are most effective when we get inside someone's head. Oh. Okay. Alright, looks like we're back to throwing things and fighting enablers. Your attacks. 
trying to get rid of those sensors. Oh, we're getting hurt pretty bad here. Might have to use a Psypop just to heal. We're getting blown off the battlefield. Whoa, how do we get away from that? At least that dropped a little health. Okay, how do we get not blown away here? Oh, we randomly have to hold one of the triggers. And it's not based around one of our psychic powers. I don't know how we're supposed to know we got to use a trigger to not get blown away, but... Okay, we seem to just have to go through the same cycle a couple times to defeat this boss. It's not too tough. Just does a lot of damage. This is tough with multiple enablers. And they're firing bees at us. We're gonna end up taking a lot of damage here. Oh, that hurts too. We're using a lot of side pops here. to be a faster way to do this. Would 
them because you were jealous. That was uncool like and painful. It'll open even the ugliest old letters. Oh, this little boy is too loud. You no know respect for private. Oh, we're getting blown away again. Hopefully this is the end of this boss fight. We have used up way too many Psy Pops on this boss. I failed again. I guess, I guess I'm not the real Cassie. Yes, you are. And so am I. Me too. Mostly when we need money. Hey, I'm pretty good in a fight. You might have noticed. Cassie? Hmm, not sure. But I'm sure she's in here somewhere. Now then, did you say something about my bees? Alright, now we can fix our astrolathe. Oh my, they really aren't behaving, are they? That's it. I'm all out of bee puns, I promise. Think you can do something about them? I'll try. But I feel like I've... lost a little control of them. Oh, how I wish my old partner were here. I think they just need a nap. Oh, bully! How did you know I needed you? A little bird told me. Oh, sorry, I should say three little bees. Well then, think we can get this swarm to stand down? I do. Bedtime for bees. So, how's production? Jars of honey and no one to give it to. Come on. All right. Well, I think that's going to do it for today's episode. So come see what happens with the Astro Lathe in our next episode of Psychonauts 2. Thanks for watching and bye for now.